Hi friends, Brenda here from the pop-up homestead. Sean's working on the floor in the new cabin and I thought I would show you some of the plants that we have out front of the cabin and why I have specific plants here and what I'm doing with them. So here you go. So the pig, my niece Amber's favorite, uh, has a plant that looks like it's seen better days. This is actually uh, a petunia plant and I'm a seed saver, as some of you know. You see these little pods here? Each one of the pods, when you pull it off, when you pop it open, and you see all the little dots inside there? Each one of those has hundreds of seeds inside of it. And then over here, this is lemon balm. I wish you were here, you could smell it. Oh, it smells amazing. You can make uh, lemon balm tea out of this. You can make tinctures, make lots of amazing things out of it. And then in addition to that, you see this, which looks like it's seen better days. This is lettuce, um, and it's what they call bolting. And the lettuce is going to seed. So you can see that it uh, has the little white tufts on it that are similar to what you would see on, um, you know, dandelions. So if I pull those white tufts out, I'll have the seeds. And if I save the seeds, then I can grow more lettuce. And uh, in this pot here, this has got uh, this has got some ancient grains I'm growing. And you can see the grains are, are coming out. I'm probably just going to get enough grains to, to save and then grow in a bigger pot next year. So check that out. Move along here. All right, so I'm back. Started to rain a little bit. Sean's out here putting up some nails. We have uh, we have this is holy basil, or what they call Tulsi. And you can see, see what this is doing? Seeing how it's getting the little uh, tufts at the top? After it's done flowering, each one of those little pods will get filled with seeds. So I'm letting this holy basil go to seed. You can see that's a pretty big seed head. And then, and then down there, there's some parsley. Let me zoom in on the parsley for you. There's some parsley. Parsley is actually biennial, which means that the parsley will come back, not next year, but the year after. So biennial, meaning every other year. And then this is the anise hyssop. I've given this to quite a few people. It's a, it's a beauty. It's a perennial. It comes back every year. So. After it's done flowering, it will go to seed, um, and you can save the seeds easily, and it's very prolific, but um, it's also a perennial, so it comes back in every climate year-round. Every, not year-round, but every year. And uh, I take, what I do with this anise hyssop is it tastes kind of like licorice. I dry it, and it makes an amazing tea. You can use the flowers, and you can use the um, leaves. Oh! What we're doing, we're filling the rain barrels. Bonus! Bonus rain barrel filling. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Let you guys see what's happening. See, the rain comes down off there. And it pours right in. Pours right into the barrels. So it usually, usually we get three good streams. Yeah, see? Kind of like a, kind of like a river there just pouring into the barrel. That's awesome. All right, that's all from the pop-up homestead. And uh, I'm sure I'll be back later. Ooh, it's raining harder. See, now when it rains, it's like a bonus. All right, take care from the pop-up homestead. Brenda, checking out.